Yo ho, how are you guys going? So today we're going to do a quick dimorphodon um, taming video. So um, I had originally sort of planned to do like a proper narrating sort of in video thing as I was doing it, but um, unfortunately the background mu like music and sound effects of the game just overwhelmed anything that I was saying. So um, for today's video, we'll do a bit of a voiceover instead. Um, so I've already got the implant um, of the Dimorphodon. It had died right in front of me. Um, so we will splurge a little today and um, revive that one. And uh, we'll grab all of the bits and pieces that we will need. Um, so we'll grab our pans, um, any narcotics that we might need, even though it's a relatively easy tame, I always make sure to have all of the bits and pieces that we'll need, um, just in case. Um, and then we will have to go out and get some prime meat. Uh, I've just noticed my base defense dino is not where he's supposed to be. So I'll just move him back. Uh, why can't I get in here? Uh, that's weird. Um, can I jump? Yeah, here we go. Um, okay, I'll just put him back. So I essentially just leave him on aggressive and he'll sort of just growl at anything that shouldn't be in here. Um, oh, actually, I left my pen behind. That's important. I'll grab that f before I go. Um, there it is. Grab that. And um, then we'll go hunt down some prime meat. So I am essentially hoping for some stegos or maybe some diplos. Um, they are actually very common around my base area. Um, I've actually killed one like 20 minutes ago. Oh, egg. I'll grab that for food on the road. Um, yeah, so I killed one about 20 minutes ago. If I'm lucky, maybe it respawned. Um, otherwise, I'll have a bit of a wander around. There, there probably will be something that will um, give me some juicy prime meat. So let's see what we've got out and about. Um, do, do, do. Trike? Nope. Don't want you. Mm, go a bit up here. Uh, what's down here? Parasaur? Nope, don't want you. Um, actually, I'll go back up here and further down. So I'll just get a bit away from my base. It can be a bit laggy because it's very big and there's lots of dinos. Um, mm hmm. Come on, uh, more trikes. Nope. Uh, come on, Ark, give me some good luck. Turtles, nope. Uh, should be morning soon at least, so it'll make it a bit easier to see because, yeah, there's nothing as annoying as trying to find stuff in the dark, like, and, it, and you get super laggy as well. It's just frustrating. Um, oh, hello, turn that on. Oh, level 29, nice. Uh, go up here. So a bit closer to the top, you'll probably find more diplos, I'd say. So, but there is also a lot of raptors around, so we do have to be careful. Um, raptors are a pain, no matter what server level or bloody planet you're from. Uh, okay, so what have we got? Um, oh, that's a really pretty Iguanodon. Oh, bad level though. Sad. Uh, oh, hello, Mr. Stego. You're what I was looking for. Oh, okay, let me just whack you. And he flew off. Okay. I actually wanted to pick it, so I only got one prime meat from that, which is not going to be enough. Um, so I guess I'll keep... Oh, that's convenient. Oh, and there's a raptor, of course. Um, so I'll kill the raptor, get myself some juicy prime meat from the Diplo. Sorry, sorry Diplo. Rest in peace, buddy. Pick that so I can actually get some proper prime meat. Oh, much better. How much did I get? 
Oh yeah, that's more than enough to tame the Dimorphodon. So I don't need my helmet on anymore. It's nice and bright now. I'll um, grab that egg for food too. And uh, all right, so what I'll do is I'll run down to my little reviving taming pen here, which I did do a little tutorial on if you wanted to check that out. Oh, hello, Dilo. Um, I do just like using that style of um, revival, tra revival trap essentially because you can pretty much revive any size dino. Um, you know, you just got to sort of adjust for your size. So I just went big from the start and you can do small or large dinos in it. Like I've revived Tame De Bronto in that one. It perfectly fits for the height and it doesn't glitch out or anything. So, um, and the windows just give you room everywhere to essentially shoot in. Um, so close that. Um, that's a snail that I wanted to tame. So, so we'll pop in the implant and, um, Actually, throw that hide away. I don't need clutter in my inventory. Pop in the implant. Um, I'll grab my pan. There we go. And um, okay, so I'll revive that one now and we can get this party started. Yeah, like I said, it's a bit pricey, but we'll splurge a little today. There we go. And pan you easy knockout like it really is just the most straightforward way um all right so let's pop our prime meat on that one um and i'll pop in some narcotics just just to be you know safe they do lose torpor really quickly um not that i really think i'll need it oh really keratin like i swear that box always lands on the tames and you can't see the taming bar this wants to be bloody annoying um yeah, so it should be over in quite a, just a few bites. Uh, how much percentage have we got? Oh, yeah, easy tame. So a few bites and that'll be done. Um, I might feed it a couple of narcotics. It just drains so fast, so you just got to be careful. That uh, should be good. There we go, much better. Not the prettiest colour in the world, but I'll probably end up recolouring it, so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, I might go get some water. I don't know, I just find it annoying whenever my water or my food levels drop. Like, I just feel like I'm unprepared. Like, because you do always end up in a situation where you can't eat or drink or whatever it is, you know. Um, so I'd rather just always have my levels up and ready to go. You know, learn from your lessons. Um, so I might just run out quickly and grab some more water. And it'll probably be tamed by come by the time I come back. So it's it's pretty much done. Um, yep, there we go. We have tamed a level 43. Oh, and it's a female too, which is um, good for me. Because I can get some eggs for some kibble if need be. So I'll actually pop that on follow. And what I like over the Dimetrodon, oh sorry, the Dimorphodons over the um, Mythopithecus is that if you do crash, even though you will um, automatically remount your flyer, your um, shoulder pets still fall. So your otters or your Mythopithecus, um, they, they will fall to the ground and it's just a higher chance of them dying or, you know, getting into contact with something with uh, big sharp teeth, you know, and... Um, so I'd rather have a Dimorphodon because it'll just fly. And if you keep it on follow at all times, it'll just follow you around. Um, so I have already decided on a name. I'm going to name it Defender in loving memory of Schwalbe's lost Stego. Rip. Rest in peace, buddy. Um, so we'll pop that in there. And we have officially tamed ourselves a level 43 Dimorphodon. Pretty straightforward tame, but um, a lot of fun to have around. So we'll have a little look-see here. Oh, nice. Not the prettiest dino on the planet, but um, welcome to the family, buddy. So that is that for that episode, essentially. So um, feel free to drop a like if you enjoyed the video and um, any comments for any future videos you'd like to see. Enjoy your day, guys. Bye-bye.